click in GDevelop file, saving the progress. So, GDevelop has two ways to save game progress, the storage and the file system. Because we talk about the clicker and I don't need to use much of memory for variables or let player edit and share saves. So in this case I can use the storage. Let's begin. So look at variable that we create at beginning. The score, score per click, upgrade price, auto cooldown, auto click and auto price. They all part of the game that can be changed while we play. So that's what we need to save. Start from writing them in storage. Then run the game that will create the safe storage. After, load variable from storage by using storage function read. Also, if autoclick work, reset the timer. Then you can delete previous variables. Also disable writing for don't rewrite it every game start. Next, we need to find every time when they change and write them to storage. Good. But let's also make button to reset the game. So, if you click button, rewrite save storage, delete timer and load storage to scene variables. By the way, if you need, you can find all your current storages. Follow View, Toggle Developer Tool, Application. All your storages start from GDJC. Thanks for watching.